Welcome to a new video from Excel Data Analysis Series PT for Pivot Tables, video PT03.3. We are continue talking about grouping, particularly grouping of text fields. In this video, we are going to see how we can group similar items to summarize our report, how we can create new data categories inside the pivot table itself, and thus we are going to get rid of the traditional helper column technique, which increase the size of the data massively and reduce the performance of Excel. Below this video in the description section you will find the link you can use it to download the Excel file so you can practice after watching or you can even download now and follow while watching. Also please use the button below the video to subscribe to the channel so you can get notified when new videos uploaded. In our example today we have the daily sales extracted from triple a bike shop records it comes in four columns the date the channel region and sales the requirement was to summarize the data that we have in the original data set to create a monthly sales report and report on the channels and regions but not in the original categories as you can see here we have seven regions and we have four channels but the report required is to summarize the regions into only two categories greater cairo and rest of egypt and also to summarize channels in only two categories direct and indirect channels there are two ways to perform this action first one is to use the helper column like the file that i'm going to show you now in this excel sheet we have the original data in the blue in the four blue columns and then we created another four helper columns that we used to categorize our data so we created a column for the month year Cairo and other direct and indirect to categorize the data as required and we used some excel functions or formulas like text to get the name of the month and again text to get the number of the year and other two VLOOKUPs to get the data from this lookup tables and categorized by direct indirect Cairo and rest of Egypt and then we created a pivot table to summarize the data by month direct indirect Cairo and rest of Egypt the problem with this method is that we had to double the size of the data so we have originally four columns we had to create another four columns meaning that we doubled the size of the data and as you can see here we have more than 10,000 rows in this data set and imagine that if we have like 600 or more rows this will get the size of the file massive and the performance of excel will be really slow so the second way of doing this report is to use the grouping feature of the pivot tables i'm going to create a new pivot table from the original data set so i'm going to select any cell inside the range i'm going to use the keyboard alt and v to open the create pivot table dialog box it will recognize the range automatically and i'm going to select where i want to place this pivot table i'm going to use uh, this worksheet and h12 and i'm going to press on ok it will create the pivot table let me go to analyze ribbon on the left hand side to give it a name like sales report and enter now the pivot table created let me start to build the rows and columns of this table before doing this i want to start to do the grouping so the first thing i want to report on is the month so i'm going to take the date field and drop it in the rows section it will create a unique list of all the dates the 365 days of the year i'm going to select any day of them i'm going to analyze ribbon again to group field i'm going to select i'm going to group for days and month and okay i will uncheck the date and you can see the 12 month already created here and i'm going to take the sales and drop it in the into the value section it will create a breakdown or a monthly breakdown of this annual daily sales i'm going to select any cell and right click number format and this is amounts i will use currency zero decimal places and okay now i finished the grouping of the month i want to start to work on the grouping of the region and instead of having uh, seven regions i want only two categories of regions 
Cairo or Great Cairo and rest of Egypt. I'm going to uncheck month. I'll take the region down in the rows. It will create a unique list of the seven regions. I'm going to select Cairo and Giza and I'm going to right click or I can go again to analyze ribbon but this time you can see this option is dimmed. I'm going to group selection up here and select. It will directly create a new group called group one and it has inside this group Cairo and Giza and if you look at the pivot table field you can see a new category or a new field created called region two. I want to give it a meaningful name so I'm going to select group one and if you look at the active field here it will uh, indicate that you have region two typed here up so I can change it just select and give it a name like Cairo and other enter and now you can also rename the group one you can call this one great Cairo and enter now I'm going to select Alex canal Delta Sinai upper all together right click and group it will create group two with all the five regions I can also change the name I will select it from the formula bar up here and I'm going to give a name like rest of Egypt enter now we are done with the grouping of the region I'm going to uncheck region uncheck Cairo and other and I'm going now to work on the channel categorization we have four channels and I want to categorize them by direct or indirect I'm going to select the channel I'm going to drop it in the rows area as well it will create the unique list of the four channels I'm going to select door to door and retail together right click group and let me call this group direct and enter I'm going to select wholesale and dealers right click group and it will create group two let me call it in direct and also I want to change the new category which is channel two I want to select it and change it from the uh, analyze ribbon active field section I'm going to give it a name like direct underscore indirect and enter now I finished with all the categorization I can just rearrange my report I will uncheck the channel I will take the Cairo and other and put it in the column I'm going to take the month and put it down here in the rows above the direct indirect and now you have your report finished that was all for today thank you very much for your time I hope that was helpful for you please stay tuned to the next video PT04 which will discuss the formulas inside the pivot table please go down and subscribe to the channel so you can get notified with all new videos thank you very much and bye